Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Coming at you with Deuteronomy chapter 16. And let's start in verse 16. How cool is that? Three times a year, all your males shall appear before the Lord your God in the place which he chooses, at the Feast of Unleavened Bread, at the Feast of Weeks, and at the Feast of Tabernacles. And they shall not appear before the Lord empty-handed. Every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of the Lord your God, which he has given you. If you read the beginning of chapter 16, you're going to see a lot of the description of when they're going to um, celebrate these festivals. Not a ton of detail. The detail's mainly further back in the other books, but it kind of like it's a brief synopsis of stuff that they already knew, kind of like condensed. By the way, here are the three um, festival weeks, bam, bam, bam. And we don't do that in the New Testament time. We don't do that post Jesus. Paul even talks about, I believe it's in Romans 14, where some people remember the day or keep the day and others do not keep the day. And whether you do it to the Lord or whether you don't do it to the Lord, the point is it's to the Lord. And that's actually not the point of the video. The point here is that God has done certain things in all of our lives. Whether you believe in him as your Lord and Savior or not, the fact that you exist, he has done something in your life by the very fact that you're being able to watch and hear this video. And there are moments in our lives that are just big moments. There are times when we stop and we reflect and say, the Lord was there. I remember this particular event or this particular circumstance and the Lord was in it. So, And the purpose of those festival weeks, we don't keep them anymore. But the purpose behind those wasn't to just like, you know, Hey, everyone, let's get together. Let's throw a party. Let's just chill and not work for a little while. No, the point of those festival weeks was to remember what the Lord had done. So, friendly reminder to remember what the Lord has done in your life. The fact that I'm doing this YouTube channel is amazing. The fact that God has brought me to this point is astounding to me. As you keep watching my videos, I'll talk more and more about who I am and what I've done, what the Lord's brought me through but there's so much to remember. There are so many things to be thankful for. And every time we praise Him and thank Him for what He's done, that's the offering which the Lord, our God, now accepts. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you guys. God bless.